and welcome back to the channel everybody well this is a bit of a milestone video so that we have finally actually reached 1000 subscribers on the hogwash channel uh, but this is a bit of a time warp because i'm actually making this video what's the date today uh 20 20 January. 20 what 26th of January, or something? 26th of January. Um, and as you can hear, I've got um, Heckle and Jekyll in the background on um, FaceTime over there. Except uh, 27th of January, but Chris has got the Triangle of Doom. Chris has got the Triangle of Doom. Oh, he's back. It's with a koala head. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, so there we go. So we're having a bit of fun unboxing this. Now, this got sent to me um, today, and I don't know who it's from. So what we are looking at is the Costway uh, top-loading automatic washing machine. So this washing machine, compared to the other cost, um, Costway one that I have, which is a twin tub, and that's gravity-fed, there's no pumps or anything. This is a fully automatic washing machine, top-loader, but it doesn't have a heater. That's the only thing it doesn't have. And it's cold fill only, It's not. it doesn't have a hot and cold fill at the top, which is a bit of a shame to be honest, because, well, these machines are mainly for off-grid. I mean, what I call this, I call this a glamping washing machine. The other one's a camping washing machine, it's off-grid, you know, using water from the river or from a tap or something like that, from a bucket. This, though, is more of a glamping holiday. This is like plumbed in glamping. So anyways, we've done enough waffling. Let's get on with the unboxing. Okay, so I've got the... Because um, I'm on FaceTime with Chris and Phil at the moment. So they can see what I'm doing as I'm unboxing. And you can see the unboxing video. What do you think of this machine then, Chris? Phil? Um, well, from what I've seen, I'm not going to do on the Because um, you've literally just put out a video using my little Costway Twin Tub. Yeah, exactly. Two days ago. When, um, what kind of comments have you had from it? Um, oh, right. Okay. Well, that's good. Yeah, it is, um, a pretty good machine. So this, as you open the box, this is the base that you have to screw to it. Um, I don't understand why they don't just fit it, but... Yeah, this base is um, basically it's for um, to stop any sort of like dust or stuff getting, you know, a lot of dust getting inside it or small animals, this, that and the other, because this is an, it's kind of like an off British machine. So obviously you don't want. I'll tell you what, I don't know if it's got a sort of transit hole that you might have to take out, maybe that's why you've got to uh, set the base later on. Hmm. I don't really know. So there is a little bit of water inside the bag. It's probably from the testing. This is my favorite part, peeling the... Oh, now this one, this washing machine, can you see that? Yep. That looks like um, my mother-in-law's old uh, um, Peichel, what's it called? Fisher and Peichel top loading machine. She. I've had enough of polystyrene for today, thank you very much. Oh, look at that, I can use that as coving. Yeah, no, I've had enough of, um, of polystyrene for one day, thank you. With my bean bag splitting. Right, so this is a lovely machine. It's actually like a grey colour. Yeah. No, 
I'm just taking the um, um it's clear slightly tinted I'm just taking Huh? I can't hear you with both of you, what? Yeah. Posh. That's what reminded me of the Fisher and Pico, my mother-in-law's old one. Right, so inside here we've got the destructions and I assume that these are the bolts to screw the grid on the bottom. There is a transit, polystyrene transit cover there. And literally the only other thing inside uh, are the connectors for it, but I'm not going to use them. I'll show you in a minute. I'll show you in a minute. So let's take you off the tripod. And let's have a little look. Wow. Now on the camera, it looks white, but it is actually a very, very light gray color. It's got a European energy sticker on it. So they've... It's A++ rated. Um, it's a 4.5 kilogram machine. So that's not a bad size actually, is it? Ah, the, um, the washer dryer. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, oh, there we go. So that is the um, details there. It's a Giantex EP23113GB. So Giantex, are they owned by Costway or, or what? Do you know anything? Okay. And then we look inside. So we've got uh, a filter there on the side. And then we've got the sort of like aluminium or stainless steel on the bottom. Do you, I wonder if jets of water come through as it's turning or not? Are they just there for show? Oh, I don't believe so. No, they must be there just for show. And then we've got this bifold, lightly smoked lid, which I think is really smart. Uh, that's the inlet valve there, and here are the, the, that's the control panel with touch buttons. So, right, first thing I'm going to do is move it off this, get it on its side or its back, and we'll screw the base on. Okay, guys, so I've laid it down on its back so that we can see the underneath of it. And pretty much these are the components of a standard top loader. I mean, the metal uh, motor... Pulleys are metal, that's the belt there. There we have the pump. That we have there is the pressure switch. Um, and yeah, the rest of the gubbins. So all the brains of it will be up in the top. I can't see any other kind of... Um, well, I can hardly see any wire as it goes. Yeah, the, well, there's a wiring loom here. Oh, um, that runs up the sides at the front, so that must go up to the top where the brains are. Uh... Oh yeah, why is there only one adjustable foot? That's a bit stupid. Hmm. Anyway, so what we have to do is to put this top on. If you look at the, there you are. If you look at the um the guard there's arrows there so that goes to the front of the machine so that's where it needs to go on so i'm gonna get these screws on very simple don't need any technical expertise to be doing this i think even i can do that what do you reckon guys well yeah potentially potentially right i'll come back to you once i finish screwing them in Okay, so I fitted the eight screws. Don't screw them in too tight. Uh, don't do a criss on them. Just screw them in because you screw in metal into plastic, but that secures it. So the reason why it 
isn't fitted on there is because on the piece of polystyrene at the bottom there's a piece which is the um like the transit support for the motor and everything it's like a transit bolt but it's not it's a it's a piece so anyway i'll show it to you hang on a sec but let's get this machine turned up the right way okay so this is what you find underneath the washing machine and this is what um is act as like the um, transit bolts underneath. So right, okay. Let's take another look at it now from above. There we go. So like I said, it has got a bifold gla uh, plastic grid at the top. And then that is everything, that's the motor. There are springs that support it um, underneath and on top. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this adapter on the top of it, like so. And then in the utility room, I have um, hot and cold um, tap fittings for it. For I always keep in there for if I've got a spare washing machine or a, a washing machine that I need to test. So what I'm going to have to do is I'll connect the hot and the cold up to these and then control it manually using the two um, levers at the back of this. So that is open, that is closed. Right, okay, so they're both closed. So let me get it set up in the utility room and we'll come back. Okay, so I've read the instructions and I have Heckle and Jekyll there to the side of me and I've got it plumbed in. So this is the hot one this is the cold one this is a garden hose with the switches there so i can control the temperature um as the water's going in using my gun bit of a long-winded way but uh, you could do it so let's take a look at the control panel so here we have the power on button then you select your water level Yeah, so there's one to two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. I'm gonna do it on an eight. Then you select your program. So the program one is normal. And then you literally just press your start. That's all you have to do. So pretty straightforward. So before I do that, let's open the lid. Let's move you directly over to the machine. I'm gonna put in the laundry. Now you can also add fabric softener. This machine has a fabric softener dispenser. So I'm going to fill the lid up with some softener. And then you just push this forward a bit and that's the softener, which you pour in slowly. And then that will dispense in the final wash. Because I'm gonna be using the machine straight away, I'm not gonna be fussy. I am just gonna put a little bit of powder in the top, as you see. And now I'm going to turn on the hot and the cold with my garden hose at the back and press start and then monitor the temperature as it comes through. So it should be coming through evenly. So let's press start. Push that back a bit. So I'm gonna give it a second because I need to wait for the hot water to come through. It's coming through warm, it's 30, 35, 37, 38, 39, 40. So it's coming through 41. So it's coming through basically at the temperature that I wanted to. Uh, if I wanted it to come through hotter, then I could just turn the cold one down a bit and see the temperature raise. But I'm just gonna leave it as 41. So that's quite lucky that it's just coming through at its standard um, temperature using those two, that's good. You may have 
have to have the lid down if when it goes into a spin. Yes, but I'm gonna fix that. Right. With your also, help. I think, I think some models actually came with a detergent tray. Ah, oh, right, okay. That I've been looking at. I didn't, but what, yeah. I don't know who got it for me. I really have no idea. Uh, 46 minutes the time of the normal cycle is. I got it on a higher level because I want you to see, uh, you know, how good the agitation is on it. <laughs> Probably. Let's have a look. It's not taking too long to fill up, which is good. Again, quicker than the other one. Better in every way, shape, and Not bad. Well, it, it's used more water than I expected. It's basically the same as your twin tub, from what I can tell. It's very quiet. This seriously is so similar to my mother-in-law's old Fisher and Piper, but oh, the outer thing was made of it was a bit bigger and. Um, made of metal but this is very similar to it so temperature we got here is about 36 98 which is perfect for what i wanted it for what i am going to do now is turn off the cold the, the hot tap at the back because the rinse is obviously i just want cold so Number one, just normal. What uh, normal, standard, fast blanket, soak and wash, wash, wash and rinse, rinse and spin, spin and air dry. So what's air dry? Let me look at rinse hold up so it won't spin. Okay. Air dry? Yeah, but air dry. No idea. Is it a tumble dryer? <laughs> the washer dryer. The one thing I'm liking about this is that the inner tub isn't moving around so much. It's, it's kind of fixed. So all the energy of the agitation then has been absorbed by the water. Yeah. Rather than being lost. Yeah. I didn't think the water level would be that low. I think I'd do it at seven next time. Uh, sorry, at that high. I think I'll do it at seven. Oh, what is that? Sort of the water? Yeah, that's uh, level eight, highest level. Well, that surprises me because I didn't expect it to be that high. No. I thought it was going to be a good inch lower. Huh? That's what she said.
Now with the lid down, it is very quiet. It's, uh, it does sound like the cost, way a lot, but um, it's, um, it's just got more gravel to it. Temperature we have 36, 36.5. Now, now I, the reason why I did smaller things in this is because I don't find these types of machines very good for like blankets and bedding and stuff. I just don't think they're really good for that. But then I'm spoiled because I have the, the front loaders to use, but. Um, just like I do with the cross wave, uh, sorry, with the um, the cost way, um, I will just use um, smaller items in it. Thirty nine minutes left. So what do you think of it so far, guys? It's not bad, is it? I, I really do like the the um, setup of the um, hot and cold taps. That one? No, the That one? No, the plastic goes in, look. That? No, let's call it. This? Ah, uh, bleach. Oh. Like in the whirlpool. Oh,
The clothes aren't not enough, I like that. It's not like a... Um, what's that thing on the old Hoover Twin Tubs? Pulsator. Oh no, I forgot to put the Calgon in. It's not going to live as long. <laughs> Need to 
Now it's doing the distribution. Is it training as well? No, not yet. Just, 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 just distributing. It, it does what the whirlpool does. It does that really slow rubbish transportation. Yeah, it does that as a distribution to make sure all the clothes are even. Well, that's what it says on the um, instruction book, anyway. Okay, something's going on. Okay, it's draining. Oh, it stopped. No, it's carrying on. Wow, it's quite a good pump on it. going to spin without the lid off, so I'm going to move you. There we go. It's because you've got a peasant spec phone. All right, that's lovely and clear now, so... Twenty-eight minutes. <laughs> Morning. Oh. So it does burst the spins to make sure that the water doesn't get too much for the pump, and then a full spin.
It does. It's really quiet. I can. That's all I can hear is the water coming out of the clothes. But bigger. The other one does seem a bit strainy. This one does seem a. Uh, this whole machine just seems to have a bit more oomph. When you're up next and we compare them together, you'll see. <laughs> well, it's a spin faffer, I'll tell you that. Might be just because it's after the wash. It says on there it does some sort of... Because now it's spinning. Definitely where the other washing machine is camping, this is definitely a glamping washing machine. Mm. They should call it the Cosway Glamping. Mm. Not gonna lie, I think I'd rather one of those over a proper top loader. I wonder if they'll ever make a full size one. I don't think so. No. At least that one's got a blooming pump. Now, but the actual spin is really quiet. The other one, the small cost it feels like it's got a faster motor than this. Faster spin.
Okay, so I think that that was the brake kicking in, yes. Unfortunately, it doesn't give a um, program guide in the instructions. So it's going to have to be go through the programs and film them and then see. I like the idea of the um, fluff filter. So it must push water through that. I can smell the fabric softener. Okay, it's going to do its distribution, so I'm going to put you guys on time lapse.
Okay, so where I thought that that was the final rinse, it isn't. This is actually the, the final rinse. It's still saying CC rinse. So it does two full rinses. Personally, I prefer the wash action of a front loader. Less water. This is fun to use. It's going to be fun to use. It's going to go back and do its final spin, just doing its distribution. Okay, that's changed now to DD, so we're on the final spin. He said the smoke off.
Okay, so the, yeah, the smoke alarm. So there we go, guys. That is the cycle done. It turns itself off. It makes a couple of beeps, and there you go. So. Not Let's have a look. Ah, jam bottoms smell lovely. Pants smell lovely. But they were practically clean going in anyway. <laughs> I was waiting for the peanut gallery to say something. Right, let's take a look at this filter and see if there's any lint in it. Uh, oh, look at that. It's picked up the lint. That's really good. So it does work. Yay. Okay, so I do suggest you, clean, you look at that um, every time that you finish a load just to make sure that it's clean and then that just slots in like so so really good feature about being able to put your fabric softener in it and also as well if you have um, bleach um, that you want to put in with a load then obviously you've got a bleach compartment there as well so it literally is fully automatic apart from being like hot or cold fill that's um that's pretty good so I hope you've enjoyed the video. It was a lot of fun to make it. Um, big thanks to Chris and Phil for participating. Thank you guys. <clears throat> Links to their channel are down below in the video description. They're there in every video. And uh, yeah, so thank you so much guys for uh, for all of your support and for you know getting us to a thousand subscribers. Like I said, this January this film is being made uh, towards the end of January. I don't know when it's going to be going out next, so About I will... Three years' time. Three years' time. Thank you very much, my wonderful, supportive friends. Who needs enemies? Yeah, push. <laughs> yeah, I'll push. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode sometime in the future. Where don't forget to subscribe now. Yes, and subscribe. Uh, COVID subscribe. should be... Um, should be a lot lower by then, hopefully, by the time this goes out. Anyway, I don't know, fingers crossed. Bye, guys!